Well, folks, I don't know what I'm going to do with this footage. Um, I think I'm going to probably put it in like a fun bonus content footage, but it's not fun for me. It's depressing. And what's depressing is this. I have to replace gear. I absolutely detest replacing gear. And I know gear has to be replaced, but I try to do it until it's completely broken and I sufficiently have done that. So this is a stuff pod, as you can see. The opening is not supposed to be this. This isn't supposed to be the open part. The open part is supposed to be, let's see if I can get you this. I'm supposed to zip it open, but it completely ate through the top part. What does that say about the oils in my head? Because I use this as a pillow. So this- It's when it says that the zippers and like Velcro on your clothing is bad for Dyneema. Oh, I was thinking about the oils in my head. So this is what a stuff pod's supposed to look like. This is just chewed through by, don't even know what. It is like a terrible consistency. This stuff just feels and makes your teeth itch. So I fought the good fight with this. The hole's just been getting bigger. I have to replace it. Um, as for my thermal, I don't know if I have to yet, but it's getting to the point that it's starting to be more holes than shirt. Well, not fully, but it's getting really holy and it doesn't really do thermal things anymore. So <clears throat> I think I might replace that today. <clears throat> my hiking shirt itself, I also might replace. I don't want to, but I might have to. Um, I detest replacing gear. My pack, it's a possibility. Again, I don't want to. The water bottle pockets are just completely gone. I mean, they don't really hold water bottles anymore. So that's fun. Um, yeah, just holes upon holes upon holes. Even the outer mesh here, <clears throat> there's a giant hole. Oh, I can't talk down here that I have to like layer with the ground sheet, as you can see, to try to make it not fall out. So, gotta go replace gear today. Um, today is August 24th. We finished our Grand Enchantment hike yesterday. Today is like kind of a logistic day. And um, yeah, gonna start making the way out to the next trail. I don't know what it's gonna be yet. There's three options. One of the options is like a very back, 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 back burner option. There are two options pretty much left for me with the season and the time window I have. I have about 23 days until I have a prior obligation I have to go to. So I have 23 days to hike. There's two options that fit that time frame. One's this way, one's that way. Um, one of them I really wanna do, but I don't think I bet I could hold the pace to finish it, but it would be a really aggressive pace for this specific trail. So I'm gonna leave it up in the air, surprise ya, but either tomorrow or the next day, we're gonna start moving out in that direction to get to said trail. But today's the saddest day of my life. I've gotta replace gear. I hate new gear. Like, I detest it. Which is weird, it's ironic, because I make new gear. The irony is not lost on me. I like my gear. I like the gear that when I like the new gear when I have the new gear, but I don't like the picking out the new gear. Good thing I do. Yeah, Magpie does. She gets all happy with new gear. I love new gear. Yeah. All right. So that's that. Time to do chores. Time to do life things. Oh, for y'all that are worried. I know how worried everybody gets here. Let's see. I have about nine day old pepperoni, eight day old pepperoni that I think Magpie and I are gonna have for lunch. That's disgusting. And we that might also good. eat this together with the lunch. Absolutely not. Eight day old pepperoni and spam? No. Yummy. That's gross. It survived, it survived another trail. I don't know if you can use the word survive for this thing. It's it, undead. Yeah, it's undead, it just, it was. It was part of the other trail. I don't think survive is a word for it. Um, it's really nasty. What does it say about somebody's mentality that they carry spam 10,000 miles plus and won't get rid of it? I don't know. 
and leave that question for Socrates, or Plato, or Aristotle, or Kant. How many philosophers can I name? I don't know. Let's try. Heidegger? Um, Nietzsche? When I get put on the spot, I'm really bad. <laughs> like, I gotta let it just flow. I can't do... Nietzsche. Yeah, Nietzsche is a good one. Um, Deleuze? The guy that went over the waterfall in a barrel. Who? The Roman guy. The guy that lived in the barrel. Yeah. I don't know. Don't put me on the spot, okay? I can't do it anymore. All right. End of the video. I'm going to start doing things. All right. So a little bonus footage, which I just got to document this moment. I haven't been filming a whole lot on our road trip. three years of joking about it, we finally got into all the parody. Listen to that ambiance. And the salad dressing is not as good as we remember. Yeah. So we drove for like eight hours today. And it's like eight o'clock, eight and eight. There you go. Eight hours and eight o'clock. And right across from our hotel was a Olive Garden. That means we drove 10 hours today because we going around 10. Oh, we drove 10 hours today. So we have known each other for three years. And when we first started kind of bouncing around each other, we start, started talking about going to Olive Garden for just joke. We had a running joke at Olive Garden for like weeks. Yeah, for joke dates. And it has taken us three years to get here. So we made it. Listen to that ambiance. Yeah. <laughs> the O G. We've had our Olive Garden date. Yeah. Okay, hint time. Hopefully the food might be able to give you a hint. May give you some type of hint. I'm gonna try to figure out how to give you better hints without telling you straight away what is about to happen. About eight day of eight days of food here, so the goal for this next hike is to do it completely unsupported. Um, no going into towns, nothing like that. Um, all the towns off this route, you can hitch into them. There's really not a whole lot actually, but there's a few that you can hitch into a post office if you send a box. But instead of doing that, I just want all my time being forward momentum. I got very limited time frame. Today is August 26th and I have to be on a flight by September 20th by the latest. So... There's two trails I wanna do in that meantime that total a little bit above 500 miles. Um, logistically, the first trail, like I said, is gonna be about 250 miles. Oop. About 250, why is that blurry? That's super weird. It's gonna be about 250 miles with um, about eight days, somewhere in there. Um, hopefully I can hold at least a 30 plus mile per day pace. And then I'll be able to go south through a town where I'll rest, resupply, and then hit the next trail, which should be another eight days max. So really the only thing that would fit in my time frame. There are a few other trails that bounce around. Something that I really want to do is another creation by Brett Tucker. But honestly, I didn't want to feel rushed through that trail. So that's not it. I don't want to give you too many hints. The main plan was to do the Oregon Desert Trail after the Grand Enchantment or in the month of September. Um, but with the Grand Enchantment being what it was this year and having to finish it and having to go back, use our time, go back and forth, there's not enough time to do the Oregon Desert Trail. It's about 750 miles and literally I would have to do 30s for 25 days straight, including all rest and um resupply days and it sounds possible but also shout out horsepower um had a buddy that did it earlier this year and he he held some 30s in there but some days you weren't going above like 10 to 20 miles because it's just so route findy so that kind of went out the window still ultimately want to do that trail but it's just i don't want to feel rushed through that it's supposed to be epically beautiful so kind of made the best of the situation and still going to be able to get like 500 ish miles of hiking in might be a little early in the season for one of these trails by the time i hit the second one it will be like right when they recommend doing this trail so i don't know how many more hints i can give you if i tell you the location of where we are today we still have about a seven hour drive to get there tomorrow but if i tell you the location of where we are today you'll instantly figure it out so I don't know what other hints I can give you. Um, but this will be probably published, this video, while I'm out there on that hike. So when you do find out what trail I'm on, because I'll probably post Instagram 
post before I can upload the videos. So if you go to 11 Sky's Instagram and check out what trail I'm on, I am kind of asking for a little bit of help if anybody lives in this area. I don't want to say the area yet. Once I finish this first trail to get down south to the second trail. So stay tuned. If you live in the area, would greatly appreciate a ride down that way once I finish the first trail. So yeah, check the 11 Sky's Instagram and um, you'll be able to see where I am. So eight days of food. We're rocking it. Kind of feels small. I found the creamy chicken ramen, the glory. Honestly, I don't know if this is going to be eight days of food, but I'm going to make it work. So that's that. That's that. That's that. Also, look at this fancy room we're in. This is a micro hotel, which I love. And the town or city we're in currently, it was only 60 bucks a night for this micro hotel. A plus. Like usually they're at least 120 a night. So I don't know if it's like super off season, what it is, the location, A plus. Walmart's right across the street, good stuff. So I'm gonna keep going back to my food because I love looking at food. I'm gonna start packing my bag, maybe bring some cupcakes. No, I wish I could bring cupcakes, but yeah. That's where we are. That's what's going on. Come on along. Time to hike again ish.